Uh, so his moral compass really started to waver and his behavior got worse and worse until he got to his sort of ladder raids, um, which, you know, Portobello, Panama were really synonymous with butchery. And of course, as he was doing this, he was getting more and more rewarded and accoladed. And he ended his life uh, uh, an alcoholic, miserable, obese sociopath, basically. But he'd gotten everything he'd wanted. He uh, had been knighted. He was Sir Henry Morgan. He was the governor of Jamaica. He was very wealthy. And yet he was completely miserable. So it's a, it's a Faust story. He really sells his soul to the devil to get what he wants. And I think all of us have done something that we're not extremely proud of to get what we want. I think readers like characters who are liable to do anything. You know, predictable characters, I'm not that big on. You know, and I think readers really like uh, characters that have a lot of sparks in them. And Benny Wand, who's the main character in the book, kind of started out as a novel about Henry Morgan and then became more about this low-life board game hustler that he teams up with. Uh, I think Benny Wand <laughs> operates differently than you and I, and we find him interesting to watch. And I think fundamentally, that's what people want in their novels. They want to be intrigued and besotted with the protagonist. Early on, they asked me what I like to read, and I said, novels. And they said, well, that's what you should write. And I said, really? But they're so long. You know, so that was my knee-jerk reaction that I, you know, really felt like I almost needed permission to write novels. Um, but you're not going to get it from anywhere but yourself. So I think you just kind of got to do it. Um, write a bad novel, show it to people, uh, take it on the chin when they don't like it, and try and keep your ears open, um, and your second one will likely be a bit better.